Hello, this is Allie with the Perception Trainers, author of The Perception Diet, and today we have episode 8 of Real Talk for Lightworkers, and we are going to be talking about why you are not the cause of your illness. Okay, so of course out there in the spiritual world and in the spiritual, you know, law of attraction, blah blah blah, there is a teaching out there that tells you that you attracted um, your illness into your life. That if there's something going on with you physically, mentally, emotionally, that you were a vibrational match to this experience and, and that, you know, it's your fault that you're experiencing your sickness and therefore you coming back into alignment with yourself is what is going to, you know, you coming back into alignment <laughs> is what is going to heal you. Now, okay, let's, let's begin by saying first, that teaching is technically speaking true, but the way that it is being explained is incorrect, and the victim mentality that it, and the blame and the shame and the judgment that comes along with that kind of thinking, um, and the crazy making that comes along with that kind of thinking, is um, causing a lot of issues for people out there and it makes people feel like it is their fault that they're sick, it makes people feel like it's wrong to be sick and that it's wrong to have difficulties and struggle in our life and that it's, yeah, that it's your fault and that you did something wrong and now you have to like run around like a chicken with your head cut off to try and figure out how to get yourself back into alignment so that you don't have to suffer anymore. Okay, so this, what I want to explain to you today is why that teaching is incomplete. I want to complete that teaching for you and I want to help you feel like right because there are so many holes in that theory that we need to look at and really address. Like for instance, like what about children, right? Children who are born sick, children who are born into situations um, that don't um, supply for their needs to be met so that they can have the ability to be healthy. Um, people who seem to be doing just fine in their lives and then all of a sudden get sick, right? Like, uh, or, you know, explaining the, like, the kind of the opposite end of the spectrum. Like, what about the people who look like they're totally living out of alignment with them, themselves and they don't manifest illness? Like, this theory doesn't totally make sense. And that's why I'm saying the theory with uh, the evidence that we have doesn't make sense, right? Because we can't say that a child that was just born manifested sickness. Right? Like, like, we can't say that they, like, were out of alignment with themselves and it's their fault that they're sick. Like, it's just, that makes us feel terrible to think that thought because it's not true. Okay, so what is true? What is actually true? What is actually going on? What is sickness really? And how do we move to a place where we don't experience sickness or suffering? So, the first thing that you have to remember, alright, is that what you are in your essence is you are a very specific fragment of source energy, right? You are a specific aspect of source energy and you have a specific resonance. So remember that energy is motion, vibration, right? So you have a specific frequency that is your specific soul signature, right? Your specific aspect of God, all right? And you are projecting down into the 3D reality, the mirror, the hologram that is physical reality, and you are living as that frequency, all right? This 3D reality that we live in, right, is a dense reality. There is density here. That is why we have physical form, yeah? The, the rate and speed at which the stuff that makes up the 3D reality, yeah, has a density. And that density is what creates a physical experience, right? So we are not vibrating at complete source energy that has not projected itself into a physical experience. We are living as source energy that has projected itself into a physical experience. All right, so now, let's deconstruct density a little bit, right? So the density is what provides the opportunity for us to have a physical experience, right? So, so for us to have physical bodies, um, physical stuff around us, it is energy that is compacted, right? It is densified. 
And now, we need to remember that density is not in and of itself a good or a bad thing, right? Density is a tool we are using to have a physical experience, okay? So I want you to think of it like this, right? When you are just spirit, right, you're just living as your as your as the frequency right if you're just living as the frequency that is that there is very little to no density there right so because that the particles and everything that make up or you know the whatever it is that makes up that energy of what that is is so dispersed right that experience is not physical right in the physical reality we have density so the energy is just simply more compacted and more concentrated so that it appears, right? So that we can have this physical experience. And remembering that, so density being neutral. So, right, it is not wrong for something to be dense. It doesn't necessarily mean that it has a low vibration if it's dense, okay? So density can either be vibrating at a low vibration or at a high vibration, but it's the same thing. Density does not require that it is a low vibration and we don't have to have no density in order to have a high vibration. Meaning, we can be in the physical body and vibrating in alignment with the ultimate expression of our source, of our source frequency, okay? And that is exactly what awakening is. Okay, so when we are going from unconsciousness to consciousness, we are simply transforming the density that we live in from a low vibration to a high vibration. So, so taking the density, the form that we are, from a vibration that does not match our source frequency into a vibration that does match our source frequency. Okay, so that's what this is. That's what this whole life is about. It is about us taking a dense, slow vibration. So taking on density that has a slow, low vibration, so that is out of alignment with the frequency of our source, of our truth, of what we truly are as God source energy, and raising the frequency of that density, of this reality, to match that frequency of source okay so when we experience this life every single one of us steps into a physical body and because we are a part of a collective all right we are a collective of human beings and a collective of the on the earth we all accept a certain level of density and low vibration we all take that on as we come to the earth Okay, we all take on a low frequency that does not match the frequency of our truth because that is what awakening is. That is the journey that we are here to take, is that transmutation of that low frequency that doesn't match who we truly are and transmuting it to the high frequency that does match who we truly are. All right, so we all take on low vibration we all take on low vibration. Everyone steps into the physical body and in some form or other has stepped into a low, dense vibration that doesn't match their source frequency. And it is our journey through our life it, that helps us learn how to raise the frequency of this reality, okay? Because I believe that we are here to assist the earth in its evolution as in we are literally infusing our bodies, right? So the earth that is our bodies, we are infusing our bodies with source energy. We are infusing the earth with source energy. And as we, we take that density, that dense low frequency, and we continue to express ourselves closer and closer and closer to the frequency of source, closer and closer and closer to the frequency of who we truly are, we are evolving the density, right? We are taking the density from a low vibration to a high vibration. That's what we're here to do. So the density and the low vibration is not wrong. It is not bad. It is not a mistake, okay? That is the journey. That is the journey that we as our consciousness came here to take, 
to truly understand our true frequency. We must live out of alignment with it and journey our way back to it, right? In order to truly know what we are, we have to live as what we are not and bring ourselves back to what we truly are. And then at the same time, we are taking the physical body, we are taking the physical 3D reality and we are shifting it into higher states of frequency itself as it facilitates our journey, our physical journey, right? So think of it like learning to fly an airplane, right? You're going to have book knowledge, you're going to study, you're going to read notes and that's awesome and you're going to do that and you're going to get information from that but you don't really know how to fly a plane until you've actually sat in the cockpit and flown a plane okay so you don't really know who you are until you've come into a physical body and lived in a physical reality as your ultimate source frequency okay you can know who you are in the ethers and that's great but it doesn't count until you do it physically and so we needed a host. We needed a physical host to have this, this learning experience. And that is what the earth has given us. And in exchange, the earth is having her frequency raised. The earth is having her harmonic, her density shifted to new higher levels of consciousness by having us be in her, right? So it is, it is a symbiotic relationship. And that's why I say, Really, you have you are law of attraction to your body. The cells of your body and the, the, the vessel that you are in is a complete vibrational match to the journey your soul wanted to go on. So they came together to have a common experience of raising frequency. Okay? So, we all take on, like I said, low vibration when we first come into the body. All right, we take on a low vibration, we take on a density that has a low vibration. And for some of us, that is sickness. For some of us, that is mental illness. For some of us, that is going to be financial issues. It, blah, 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 blah. It, it's all of these things, right? Everything that causes us pain and suffering, right? And that we are in resistance to and all of these things are the low frequencies, right? That we take on as we step into a human body. And that low frequency is not a mistake. That low frequency is exactly what we need in order to fully realize the truth of our, of our ultimate frequency, okay? We need to go on the journey of raising the low frequency to the high frequency in order to fully understand who we are. And that is why we have sickness. That is why we have disease. That is why we have what we have. It's all so that our consciousness can, can take that low vibration and feel how it feels out of alignment, feel that it feels bad, feel that it feels not in alignment with joy, and we have to shift it, okay? So this is to say that no illness is something that you manifested because you did something wrong. No, you manifested it because it's exactly what your consciousness needed in order to shift from a low vibe, to, in order to fully realize itself. Okay, and at the same time, you're helping move the density of the earth, the low vibration of the earth, to a higher frequency. All right, so it, we agree to take it on because it exists in this reality, not that it's ours. Okay, we agree to take it on because it exists in this reality, and it we know that by us transmuting it, us realigning our frequency to source frequency while we're in the physical body means that we fully know who we are and we have taken the earth with us okay so i hope that this is starting to make sense right your physical experience of illness was something that you took on because you knew that in order to come back in to, in order to fully know who you are you needed to have a low vibrational experience and then take the journey of going from a low vibration back to the vibration of your true source. And this is why I say healing occurs as you allow yourself to express who you truly are. That's all this boils down to, okay? There is no destruction of self in the 3D reality unless there is a destruction of self 
as in a denial of self in the ethers, okay? So when you are denying who you truly are, when you are not fully expressing as the ultimate source energy that you are, okay? There is going to be a disharmonic frequency in your physical experience. And that is going to cause sickness and all of these things that are, you know, that feel bad, okay? And those things are there to reflect to you, okay, this is me, this is what it feels like not to be living as I truly am. Now, does this mean that, again, that if you're sick, that means you're not living as yourself and that you, you know, you're doing something wrong? No, it's not that you're doing something wrong at all. You agreed to take that on. You agreed to take that on. You agreed to take that on. We all agreed to take that on. No person on the planet stepped into a physical body and didn't take on any of the low vibration and just fully knew who they were and lived as that. No one. Okay, that's not the point. Otherwise, there would be no point of coming here. Okay, so the reason that we have our illnesses is because they teach us. They are teaching us where the disharmony, where the low frequency is and how we are here to transmute it. So this is to say that literally the, the people who have physical traumas and issues that they are going through have taken on that low vibration in order to learn who they are through the transmutation of that low vibration. And so now this does, what this means is we are not here to try and get rid of diseases. We're not here to try and get rid of sickness. We're not here to try and heal. It's not about that because there's nothing wrong with illness. There's nothing wrong with sickness. There's nothing wrong with disease. There's nothing wrong with being in any of these states. It's not wrong. It's just painful because it's not, it doesn't feel like how source frequency feels. All right. So as you infusing your consciousness into the low vibration density that you have come into in the physical body, as you continue to move towards expressing yourself closer and closer and closer to source frequency, which always exists within you, but you have to express it in order for the physical reality to align with it, right? So as you express more and more and more as that source frequency that you are, as you express more and more and more as that source frequency is you, that you are, the physical reality, which is a mirror that is infused with who you are, must respond to match that you literally raise the vibration of the physical manifestation. So this is how we heal. We're not actually healing. We're literally taking a low vibrational expression of something and we are shifting it to a higher vibrational expression of the same thing. So you're not getting rid of a disease. You are shifting the way that the human body is expressing. You are shifting the vibration. You are shifting the vibration, the speed at which the particles are moving in your body to a higher frequency which has a different structure, okay? So you literally go from a, a less organized low frequency that, caught, that sounds and feels like dis-ease, disease, whatever that looks like, and you shift it to a higher and higher harmonic, a higher and higher frequency that's closer and closer and closer to source energy, which you are, right? And it expresses differently. It expresses in a more completed, complex, um, whole way. Okay. So this is not to say that everyone that is sick is living out of alignment with themselves. No, it's to say that people who are sick carry a high vibration and they're here to transmute density. They're here to transmute a low vibration to a high vibration. So all you have to worry about is coming closer into alignment with who you truly are, expressing more as your true, authentic, God source stream of energy. And the physical reality will come with you. You will shift the vibration of everything around you as you do that. Does that mean that the sickness will go away? Not necessarily, okay? Sometimes we don't heal. Sometimes the, the expression isn't going to come to this perfect alignment, but your experience of it will be different. So relax into your sickness, realize it is not a problem. It is not something you caused. It's not any of that. It's something you agreed to take on. And then remember, all you have to do is align with yourself. Align with yourself and watch how all of this all just changes around you. Either your perception of it, your experience of it, or the experience itself. Okay? Like, subscribe, share, comment, and all that great stuff. And I'll see you in the next video.
Mwah.